I'm an 18-year-old girl, and I'm dealing with a big problem at home. I wasn't honest with my parents about who I'd been spending time with. I met some incredible friends who are truly amazing, but they have a bad reputation in our small town in the Midwest. I knew my parents would worry, so I lied to them about who I was hanging out with. I didn't want to deal with their reaction, so I kept it a secret for weeks. To make a long story short, my parents discovered my lie and freaked out. But it wasn't just about the lying, it was because of my friend's reputation and past mistakes, even though I'm an adult now. My parents are treating me like a child and controlling every aspect of my life. It's gone as far as my mom snooping into my bank accounts to make sure I'm not buying drugs. I'm shocked she was able to get access to my records, considering I have my own account and have never shared my information with her. Now, my mom is forcing me to go to college, even though I've told her I don't want to. She's making all these rules that I have to follow, like I'm not allowed to hang out with any of my friends at all. I even have to quit my job just because one of my friends works there. She also wants me to share my location with her all times, so she can track where I am 24 slash 7. But then she has the nerve to say that she's not trying to control my life, and to top it all off, she wanted me to take a drug test, but luckily I was able to get out of it. The thing is, I haven't done anything wrong. I've just been hanging out with some people my parents don't approve of. I'm not into drugs, and I'm not being irresponsible. But I'm an adult now, and I feel like I should be able to choose my own friends. I feel trapped, and I think the only way to escape is to move out. But that's a scary thought, because I come from a big family, and I know that if I leave, I'll be cutting ties with them too. My family has already taken my parents' side in this situation, so if I decide to move out, it will likely cause a big rift and they'll turn against me. It sounds dramatic, but that's how it feels. I'm torn because I don't want to lose my family. But being away from my friends and stuck at home has already taken a huge toll on my mental health. I feel empty and lost. How can I enjoy my life if I'm not allowed to have friends? I know my parents won't listen to me if I ask to move out and have some space. They're not the type to have an open and respectful conversation. From past experiences, I know they'll cut me off completely if I leave. All I want is to have my life back and be able to live it on my own terms. Story 2 I'm really shy and prefer to keep to myself which is different from my family who are all outgoing and sociable. My youngest sister is super close to my dad and loves playing sports. My middle sister is very charming and confident, but also very self-centered. She can't seem to hold down a job and is always struggling in college. On the other hand, I'm a 22-year-old college student doing pretty well for myself. I have a good grade point average of 3.5 and I'm on track to graduate in spring 2025. I work full-time at the university, helping teachers and coordinating programs. And I also have a part-time job to help cover some of my expenses. Even with all my hard work and accomplishments, I've never really felt close to either of my parents. My dad pushed me so hard to play sports that it stopped being fun for me. And when it comes to the things I really care about, my parents aren't supportive. I have ADHD, which means I have trouble focusing and paying attention to details. But my parents don't get it. They think I'm just being lazy or careless when I struggle with these things. Recently, I stood up for myself and told my mom to stop constantly criticizing me during our phone calls. She always brings up the mistakes I made as a teenager, even though I've tried hard to change and grow. We live far apart and they rarely make an effort to call me first. When I visit, I try my best to help out around the house and ignore their hurtful comments without getting defensive. I used to get emotional and upset when I was a teenager, but I've worked hard to control my emotions and reactions. When I asked my mom why she always lectures me, I was hoping we could have an honest and respectful conversation, but she couldn't handle it and got upset instead. I had to start at community college because my parents didn't think I could handle a regular college. This is even though they let my sister, 
who almost dropped out go straight to a university. But I've proven them wrong. Right now, I'm studying abroad with my boyfriend, learning a new language. However, I just found out that my sister, who I let live with me because she doesn't get along with most people, is causing problems again. My sister did something really thoughtless. She posted a video on social media, forgetting that I was still connected to her account, showing her smoking weed in my apartment. What's worse, she was blowing the smoke right into my dog's face. I don't have a problem with her smoking. But I had set clear rules if she wanted to smoke or vape, she had to do it outside. This is because I have asthma and it's not good for me. It's not good for the dog and we live in a state where weed is illegal. I trusted my youngest sister and told her what I saw my other sister doing. But then she went and told our parents. I didn't want to tell them because they always twist it and say I'm the one being mean to my sister, making me the bad guy. But this time, they're actually upset with my sister and glad to know what's going on. I was planning to handle the situation when I got back home, but my youngest sister loves my dog so much that she couldn't keep quiet and told our parents. My dad called me and was furious about what my sister did. He said he's going to take action because he helps me with my rent and pays her phone bill. But then he suddenly switched gears and started yelling at me instead. He said I'm a terrible daughter because I sometimes stand up for myself and talk back and that I'm ungrateful for everything he does for me. I didn't say a word and just took the verbal abuse, not wanting to make things worse. This is exactly why I didn't want them to find out because it always ends up being my fault too, even when I've done nothing wrong. I always show my gratitude and never ask for more. I'm just so confused and don't know what to think. I don't want to think of my parents as abusive, but I can't deny feeling worthless and unimportant for a very long time. It's a feeling that's been weighing me down for years. I'm sorry for sharing so much and rambling on. I just needed to get all this off my chest. That's my situation, and I'm still trying to figure out how to navigate it.